We've shared their stories. He thought he was doing something genuinely good. Families whose loved ones wanted to donate their bodies to science for medical research to help others. And to go and find out that, no, that's not really what happened, he would be disgusted. Instead, learning their family members' body parts were sold to the highest bidder. I'm fairly stoic about these things, but it's painful. They trusted staff at the now shuttered Biological Resource Center of Illinois, whose owner and operator, a father and son duo, are facing federal charges for brokering diseased parts. We don't want body parts to be sold. Tonight, oh, Illinois yeah. Secretary of State Jesse White you should get punished for that. Says the heartbreak shared by families statewide will not be in vain. We put some legislation in place to make sure that when you donate your, your loved one's body parts, that they are going to be used for the right purpose. The piece of legislation that we are working on in Springfield under the leadership of Representative Brady is as a result of your investigation and your reporting of the, the infractions of individuals selling body parts for financial gain. He says they're working on the details now. Representative Brady explaining on FaceTime they're in the process of meeting with stakeholders. How we can look at to not only prevent it from occurring in Illinois, but explore what other states have done in the way of regulation and safeguard the entire process. Aiming to introduce the bill by the next full legislative session. And I'm going to make sure that we shepherd that piece of legislation from its beginning to its conclusion. In these early stages, we're told the bill focuses on regulation and transparency. According to the Secretary of State, it could be introduced as early as the veto session this coming November. Otherwise, the next legislative session in January. Of course, we'll continue to track this story and the status of this bill. Reporting live in the control room tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. All Brad? right, good to hear. Tara Molina, thank you.